And it was a big night at the Summer Olympics in Paris. American swimmer Katie Ledecky did it again. She dominated the 1500 meter freestyle, setting a new record and winning the eighth Olympic gold medal of her career and her 12th medal overall, which by the way, ties her for the most medals ever by a female swimmer. On the men's side, Frenchman Leon Marchand became the first swimmer in history to win the 200 meter butterfly and the 200 meter breaststroke on the same day, only hours apart, shattering two Olympic records. Now here's a look at the current medal counts. Now if you're looking at gold medals, China leads the pack with an impressive number of golds. But of note, Team USA currently has the most overall medals with a total of 30. Joining me now with more is Matthew Futterman. He's a reporter at The Athletic and is in Paris covering the games. Uh, first off, thanks for joining us. I want to know about the energy right there in the room when Katie Ledecky had that major win in Paris. Yeah, sure. There was a lot of energy for uh, Ledecky. Um, it doesn't quite compare to the energy that there is for Leon Marchand, I have to say, though, because uh, he's the hometown favorite and don't know that I've ever been in a swim stadium that's as loud as it gets uh, when he swims, given the sort of torrent of obsession that has been generated over the last week uh, for, you know, sort of the swimmer that a lot of people were referring to as the next Michael Phelps. Yeah, this is a pretty significant uh, record. Put this in perspective for us, for people who aren't familiar, how big a record is this? Are you, so you, if we're talking about Katie Ledecky's record, I mean, sure, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's tremendous. It just goes to, it just speaks to how, um, you know, how being an Olympic athlete has really become a career choice in a way that it didn't used to be. I mean, there's a certain amount of longevity. You can make money as an Olympic athlete now with swimmers in the 80s and 90s. Um, particularly the 80s, uh, would they have been able to get 12 medals uh, had they not had to, you know, go back to college or get a job or something like that? Uh, you know, maybe, um, but that's a different era. In this era, you know, Kayla Decky, 12 medals, that's, that's a pretty incredible feat. Now, looking ahead, teams for the U.S. are moving to the next round. What's the latest with women's soccer and the men's basketball team? Women's soccer is sort of rounding into form. They've, they've been... They've been pretty dominant, uh, and they have to play Japan uh, next, which you know is a is it could could be a tough match depending on which version of Japan shows up. If it's the version of Japan from the 2011 World Cup, uh, that's pretty good. that was a pretty good collection of players, and uh, you know just a great system. They've fallen off somewhat in recent years, but you know that it's the Olympics, so every game, uh, and once you get to the quarterfinals, is going to be tough. All right, Matthew Futterman, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.